Hello, and welcome to my series on how to make a 2D platformer in Unity. In today's video, we're going to add some cherries to our game that our character is going to be able to collect like so. Let's begin. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our hierarchy window. We're going to right click, click on create empty, and we're going to create an empty game object and we're going to call this collectible. Then we're going to go down here to our assets folder. We're going to click on this art folder. Here's our pixel adventures folder. We're going to click on that. We're going to go into assets. Then we're going to go into items. And then we're going to go into fruits. And right here is a variety of fruits. You can choose any one. I'm going to choose cherries. Now here, just like before, is a bunch of cherries, a bunch of cherry pictures that are going to be used for an animation. If I click my arrow, you can see over here in the right hand column, the cherry is going to do kind of a kind of a flexing motion, I guess, as it's animating. And so before we get further, I'm going to click on the cherries and I'm going to go over here to the pixels per unit. And I'm going to hit 16 or type in 16. Then it's going to tell me to apply that. And remember, we're doing that because we've been doing that with every single one of our items here. We've been using 16 pixels per unit for it. Then we're going to go back to our collectible game object. We're going to go to add component. We're going to type in sprite renderer right here for 2D, I'm sorry, 2D game objects. And here in the sprite box where it says none, we're just going to grab this first cherry and place it in there. And there it is right there. Click on the move tool and we're just going to drag it over and a little down so our guy can get it for right now. Now we're going to go back to our assets folder. We're going to go to our animations. We're going to right click. We're going to go up to create. And we're going to create a new animation and we'll simply call it cherry, not cherry, just cherry. And then we're going to attach our animation to our collectible, or I'm sorry, a collectible game object. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. So we can go get an animator and attach it to it. That's one way to do it. We can just grab this and put it on top of collectible right here and it will attach the animator or you can simply grab it and place it in the box there's three different ways of doing this so right here is our animator and if we open it here is our collectible animator with the cherry animation in it now if we click on player there's our player one so that's how you access this you click on the player to get to the player one you clicked on collectible and you'll get the collectible animation with the cherry. So now we're going to go ahead and put our cherries in the cherry animation. We're going to go over here and there's a couple ways you can do this. I have mine already right here, my animation. You can click on the cherry animation in our animations folder and it will appear. Or as has been discussed before, you can go to window, go down to animation, and click on animation or hit control six. Now, just so there's enough room to work with here and everyone can see what I'm doing, I'm just gonna put my animation window up here and I'm just gonna open it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back to the fruits folder. I'm gonna go back to all these cherries and I'm just gonna click on the first one. I'm gonna hit shift and click on the last one. And that should highlight them all. Actually, let's make sure we are in the collectible. So let's try that again. Click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one. And we're going to grab that and drag it into this window. And right here are all our animations to spread them out. We'll simply grab that little, this box right here where the, the side to side hour show up. And we're going to left click and drag it out here. I'm going to drag it out to one second. I think that should be good enough. And then I'm going to take this 
put it back down here. Go to the game, hit play. And there's our animation, but it stopped. And that's because we have to make sure it loops. Let's go back to project, go back to our assets folder, animations, click on cherry. And right here, you should see loop time and just check that box. Now we should hit play and we should see our cherry constantly flexing, making whatever this motion is called. That's what you should see your cherry doing. So now that that's done, we're going to go click on our collectible. And we're going to go over here to add component and we want to add a 2D box collider to it. And we also want to add a tag. And I'm pretty certain this is the first time we've talked about tags in this series. Uh, a tag is a way just to identify something in the Unity engine. I believe if we look at our main camera, it has a tag already designated for it. And if we look here and we go to this drop down menu, there are already predetermined tags like player, which we'll be using in the future. But we're going to add our own tag for our collectible. Here we see tags. We're going to hit the plus sign and it's going to add our or it's going to ask for us the name of our new tag. And we'll just call it collectible. Hit save. And now we're going to go back to our game object and go back to tag, click the drop down menu. And now we have tagged this object as a collectible. So now let's go to our player controller script. So the first thing we're going to do in our player controller script is we're going to go to the top and we're going to add a public int. We're going to call it cherries and we're going to make it equal to zero. And then we're going to go down here and right above our private void velocity state, we're going to create another function private void on trigger enter qd and this is a new term and we'll go over this in one second and then in here we're going to put collider 2d collision close our parentheses right there add some brackets and put that right there so now we have this new term we have this on trigger enter 2d and we also hear this, this collider right here, this is the collider of our uh, collectible. And collision is the name of the collider. And we're going to be reusing that term right here inside the function. But first, let's go back into Unity. And let's take a look at some things. So the first thing we're going to look at, we're going to go into scene. And there's this green box around our cherry. That's that's our box collider. I, I believe we've discussed that before, but we'll discuss it again. The box collider is actually this green box here and we can, I'm not going to touch it right now, but we can change the size of it through this. Actually, I will. So like if I hit one, it shrinks. I'll just leave it at two for now. Maybe we'll adjust it later. And our player also, he has a box collider also. So if I were to hit play right now, their box colliders are going to do exactly what you would expect. They're going to collide. But we don't want this to happen. We want our player to run into the cherry and we want the cherry to disappear and we want him to be able to collect the cherry. So to do that, we are going to use the cherry as a trigger. And a trigger can be used for many things in Unity. We're going to be using a few triggers through the course of this series. In this case, when he enters the trigger area, actually first let's is trigger. We'll make sure to click that. When he, when he hits the trigger, we want something to happen. We want the cherry to disappear and we want him to collect the cherry. So we're going to code that in right now. We're going to come over here and we're going to say if collision.tag equals and two equals when you're making a comparison and we're going to write collectible because this is the close our parentheses actually. I'm sorry. Our, quotation marks 
and we'll actually put in our bracket. So so this is the so this is the tag we created earlier back here. We we created this tag collectible. So we're telling we're telling this we're using this function and telling Unity, hey, when he hits a collider that we named collision, actually collision is automatically its name when you usually uh, code these. When we hit this collision that's tagged with the word collectible, this is where the tag comes in. It has to have the it has to be tagged collectible for this to work. So when you hit this trigger and it has the collectible tag, we want to destroy the game object, which is coded like this collision dot game object. I'm going to close that semicolon. So when we hit the thing, I'm sorry, when we hit the object that is tagged collectible, destroy the game object, destroy the cherry, get rid of it, and then cherries plus equals one. And what this does is all this does, and this is pretty a pretty common thing in coding when you want to add one more or add any number of things to something, you just put plus equals. So it's going to add one more cherry to our account because right now when we turn on the game, the public, um, I'm sorry, the amount of cherries is going to be equal to zero. So every time we hit a cherry, it's going to destroy itself and we're going to collect it. It's going to add one. So let's hit save. And let's see how we did. So it compiled. Oops, this was still running. So now that we have, we have no errors. Let's go check. Here's our cherries. Right now we have zero. So I'm going to hit play. And now when I collide with this, we should see our cherry count go up. Oh, I know what happened because it was still playing. When, when you hit play, anything you do doesn't, it doesn't save. So because it was still playing, the trigger was never on. So let's go back, hit play again, now that our trigger is on. And now, where's our cherries? Here it is. We're going to go forward. It disappeared and it added one. So let's play around with this for one second. And let's just add a second cherry. Let's duplicate it. Go to scene. Now I have a second cherry here. We'll just move him a little closer. We'll hit play again. And now we should see two cherries when he hits it. And so we did. So that's what we're, I'm sorry, that's where we will stop today. Uh, in the next video, we are going to add a user interface, add a UI, and be able to count the amount of cherries we are collecting on screen. So as always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. All links are in the description below. See you next time.